Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new and are just tuning in, welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a tutorial slash get ready with me slash watch me do this type video. Um, this makeup look that you guys have been asking for. This is the hair that I wore to BeautyCon and everybody was asking me about it. How did I do it? How did I style it? So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that using a new system that I got from Numi. It comes in a box like this and it comes with a flat iron and three barrels for a curling wand. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I use that um to get this look so if you guys want to see this look then just keep on watching i love my fix plus because it helps my makeup stay on Better, longer, faster, easier, stronger, harder. Break it, buy it, move it, fix it. And while I let that Fix Plus sink into my skin, I usually go and dampen my beauty blender, sponge, or whatever sponge I'm gonna be using. If any of you have tried the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer, I really wanna try that, so let me know if you guys like it, if you've tried it, but I really like this one. Photograph's amazing, and also because it makes my makeup last so long. Really creates a nice base um, for your makeup to adhere to. I kinda tap it into my skin kind of help it stay in place. I'm going to be using the new Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And this foundation is full coverage matte foundation. So it makes you look matte and perfect and flawless. Kind of just buff that out like me with pressing motions. For my eyebrows, you guys know that I love my offer pencil. And this one is so tiny because I've used so much of it. I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm all out of my real color that I'm supposed to be using. So I'm just gonna use a super light shade and we're just gonna pretend like it's the right color, okay? Okay. This foundation is super heavy duty coverage. Like if you can tell, I really don't even have to like conceal any dark spots. But if you do have anything that needs to be covered, just go back and spot conceal it. I'm gonna use um, my Revlon Color Stay. Of course, you could just use the same foundation and layer it on top, but I'm just gonna use Revlon Color Stay because I know that it does a good job covering stuff. Plus, it's a little bit darker, and you don't wanna use something light to cover blemishes because you're just highlighting your blemishes, which is not. A smart thing to do. So, LA Girl Pro concealer underneath my eyes. I mean, just generously, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of just plop that on there. Now I'm gonna blend all that out with a beauty blender. Not only helps to set the product into my skin, but it helps to kind of get rid of the excess too. And then immediately, before that starts creasing, you're gonna use a powder. And I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier powder and my banana powder. The Laura Mercier powder kind of helps to make that banana powder not as chalky. I'm gonna move on to uh, contouring while that bakes. I let that like bake into my skin for about a couple minutes. So this is my um, cream foundation stick from Black Opal. And I'm just taking that and I'm pressing that into my face. Thing about contouring is you wanna make sure you do it high enough. Cause I've noticed that if I put my contour down too low, like down here, it makes my jawline look more prominent and not my cheekbones. And so then I look like a man and you don't wanna look like a man. Women, 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 women. And I'm also going to take that on my forehead a little bit because I have a big forehead I feel like. I don't feel like my forehead is humble enough so I'm humbling it. And then I'm gonna contour my nose. Yeah, sometimes I do contour my nose a little bit too thick. So I'm gonna 
be more precise. Instead of just slapping on some color, we're gonna actually do it the right way. I set my contour with a powder and that's just the Black Radiance uh, powder in um, Ebony. And I'm gonna blend all this crap out. And now your under eyes are beautimous. My Makeup Forever Pro Finish powder. Blend out your nose really well. If you contour your nose, make sure your nose is really blended. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a weirdo. Do mascara. Love Joy, you have to make this face when you put your blush on so that you know that you're just getting your cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want blush all down here and stuff. You just want it on the apples, so. Now you look rosy. I'm not really feeling like doing a huge highlight, especially because I have this bump right here. So I wanna make sure that I don't get any on that area. I'm just, I wanted to keep this look pretty matte, so. I'm doing MAC Soft and Gentle. I still managed to get it on that bump, even though I told myself I wasn't gonna do that. Still managed to do it, Vicky, Vicky. Just on the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna use Deep Red by NYX. I'm gonna use MAC Lady Danger, which is more of an orange on me than it is a red. It's a really, really bright orange red, but depending on the other undertones in your skin, it's gonna look different on some people. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of Wet n Wild's 24 karat gold. And I think I'm gonna take some of this Rimmel and outline my lips just a little bit on the outer corners here. I'm gonna be wearing this wig that I made. And if you wanna know more information about this wig, I have a review on it and I will be doing an updated review coming up very soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Just recently got a system from Numi and they have really good quality uh, straighteners and blow dryers and um, flat irons and all that stuff like that. I've seen tons of YouTubers using them, so I mean, I'm pretty sure that they do a good job. Here is the uh, Curl Jam set and it just comes with a ceramic flat iron and it comes with a, a wand with three different barrels that you can use. And I also got the um, Numi Argan Oil because I love Argan Oil. I also use Argan Oil on my body too when I take a shower. Um, I like put it on all over my body while I'm like in the shower and I'm about to get out. So this is what the Numi set looks like in its packaging. You get your flat iron over here um, and you can wrap the cords up and put, put them there. You also get a glove, the three barrels, and you also get your uh, wand itself. You have the small size here, you have the bigger medium size, and then you have the bigger size for depending on how big you want your curls to be or depending on how long your hair is. I'm actually gonna be using the medium size wand because I know that the hair is shorter so it's not a lot of hair to wrap around the barrel but I do want the curls to still be very loose. And I usually don't curl my wigs on my head because I can't see in the back. I'm gonna take some of this new me argan oil. And this is just to help dryness with dryness and stuff because this hair is virgin hair, but it has been colored. I bleached it and then colored it. So I'm just gonna take some of that and add some shine to the hair. And I'm sure by now you guys know how to curl hair. It's pretty simple with a wand because you don't have to do any clamping. All you do is wrap it around the barrel, hold it for 10 seconds, and then let it fly. Um, if you want loose curls, of course. Now, what I love about this Numi set um, is that unlike other curling wands that I've tried, this one comes with three different sizes. So you can kind of customize your wand to your liking depending on your type of hair, how long it is, um, or what kind of curl you would like. So that's what I really love about this. And I also love the oil because it makes the hair really soft and smooth. And for some reason, it doesn't make my hair smell burnt afterwards. I love the way that it smelled after I finished. And the healthy, shiny look that I got was definitely a plus. So if you wanted to try Numi, of course I have coupon codes, you guys. Of course I do. So you guys can check the description box for the coupon codes and the link to the website. But all you have to do is insert the code Vicky to get 40% off and 
free shipping or you can use the code hair jam set to get the curl jam set that I used for $100 off plus a free paddle brush to go along with that. I don't know how to braid, so I just like part my hair off where I want my part to be and then around the part, I twist my hair and I pin it and I do the same thing to the other side by clip-ins basically. That's it. But if you guys like this look, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you learned something. Let me know if you like it. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay?